All right, what's up, guys? It's Dr. Luke Greenwell here. We have our model, Violet. Um, we're going to be needling her hip flexor, her rectus femoris, so proximal quad muscle, and then her tensor fascia lata, all right? So we typically will use dry needling to address muscular trigger points in the tissue, and it really just helps with kind of resetting that muscle, allow it to fire like it should, um, and can be very beneficial for performance as we've utilized with Violet in the past. So right now I'm just going to kind of do a little demonstration for you of of needling that um, proximal quad muscle. So here we go. All right, and she just got a little twitch reaction. All right, pretty normal. All right, so I'm gonna kind of piston in there and just working around, kind of finding those um, areas, scanning around. All right, good. I'll leave it in there and give it a little twist. All right. So we'll start there, that's the proximal quad. All right. Then I'm gonna move over to her, another muscle in the hip, the tensor fascia lata, which has an attachment on um, the iliotibial band, which we all know can be somewhat problematic. So again, gonna get in there, there we go. Another nice twist response, which you might have been able to see. Wow, getting a couple more there. She had a good reaction, so that's good. <laughs> All right, so two hip muscles right there on the uh, anterior aspect of the hip. The last one I'm going to address is a little bit deeper. Um, her size muscle. Not as bad. More tenderness up here, so not as many also twitches. So there you go. Anterior hip, uh, dry needling for the hip. Really good for resetting muscular function and helping with performance, and also decreasing some pain in that area. Um, so there you go.